And I was uh, driving the highway this morning <clears throat> and I uh, was just getting light and some elk came across in front of a semi and the one behind ran into the side of the semi and it broke its front shoulder and front leg and this and that. So I phoned the hotline and phoned the COs and they showed up and they had to uh, put this elk down. But what they did was they say that I can keep this animal for meat. And uh, so we're gonna do a catch and cook. Roadkill catch and cook is what we're gonna do in this video. Uh, I got to get it out of the ditch and I know people might be driving by when we're loading this thing from the side of the highway and they're going to think what are these guys doing they're not supposed to do that but I have permission to take this animal so we'll do this uh, catch and cook roadkill catch and cook right on. <laughs> I'm just going to winch it out and hopefully we don't create a big scene on the side of the highway with people coming by. This is absolutely unbelievable. I got a permit to take that elk. I went into town, I was gone 20 minutes, and somebody came here and loaded this elk up in a truck and took off. Unbelievable, I finally get a permit to take one, and somebody just comes and takes it. Like it was sitting right here, you saw it on the video, now we just got some fur sitting here and this is where they loaded it up We're right on the side of the highway they backed right up into here and just took my elk unbelievable now i have not been ice fishing this year and the lakes in the valley most of the lakes i know now are open water but I've been away a lot, uh, down on the island, Oklahoma, as you know. I missed a lot of the ice fishing. Now, I'm not sure if I can get into this spot, but I'm going to give it a try. Hopefully, I can do a catch and cook, catch a nice rainbow, and do something like that. I hear something crashing in the bush here. Maybe an elk. Maybe a grizzly. <laughs> the grizzlies are out. So, I'm going to dig some worms here, and we're going to see if we can get to that lake and do a catch and cook in this video. Just something short and simple. And this video is brought to you by Tim Horton's Coffee. I'm just kidding. It's just to collect my worms. I usually find worms here, but um, it's early spring. I can actually usually find them in the winter, but they're not, they're few and far between. It'll take a little while to find any. Dirt's definitely cold. <laughs> one little guy. Ooh, that's cold on the hands. Got another one. See, even in winter, you can actually find earthworms uh, in a damp place that doesn't freeze right solid. getting ready to uh, go out. I see the knob came off my thing. I can't find it. 
and the bolt to go through my auger seems to be missing. It always seems to happen to me that uh, things like this happen. I don't know, I can try a stick maybe through here. Hopefully that'll hold, I'm not sure. I mean, it might just break. You can see what I got in the truck, maybe. Just put a stick in there. But I don't know if it'll be strong enough. Well, it seems okay for Finn, but I'm not sure. We got a fresh snow. I'm not going to go out too far before I... There's a dock here, but I don't see the dock. Is it safe enough, Finn? Yeah, seems like it. Well, we'll see. Plus, I got no handle here, but we'll see if I can. Not going to be easy with. I can't put pressure on that that easily. Oh, stick broke. Okay. Well, we'll try something else. Okay, I put a little screw in here, but it won't really thread. Hopefully that'll work. Kind of frustrating. Not a lot of fun trying to push on this too. It hurts your hand if you don't have your coat on it, because I got to push down. Boy, I got to get some new gear. But ice fishing is over. The ice is getting softer, I can tell. Usually in the winter, it's a lot harder to drill. Gotta be getting close. Oh. Yeah, my screw keeps falling out too. One of these days, I'm going to be set up with good gear, maybe. But I don't mind improvising. It makes a more interesting video. All right, I managed to get through. It was a bit of a chore. The screw worked. Stick didn't. That water is cold. Imagine falling through. Hey, hey, hey. Wouldn't want that. That was a bit of a workout, just with that Mickey Mouse setup. Anyway, I've used a hand line most of my life. I think I've caught as many fish on a hand line as I have with a fishing rod. Never put a hand line down. I mean, they're very handy just to put a few hooks, spool a line. And you're good to go. I don't, I'm not going to use any weights. It's heavy enough to go. And then we wait. And hopefully we don't wait and wait and wait. It's just harder to tell when you're at the bottom without a weight. But I should be able to tell just by watching the line. And actually I think I'm deep enough. And then I'll just leave the spool here. If a fish pulls the spool in, the spool's gonna float anyway. So I think I'll get a stick from over there just so I know when I'm getting a bite, I can see it. Okay, now I'm pretty sure I'm deep enough. Um, I'll just see if it's still going. Still seems to be. So, but that's deep enough, I'm sure. I'm just gonna tie a loop in my line I'll just put the stick through the loop. And then I can put my stick in the hole here. Well, you can't see the line, but then I got my loop just right here on the end. So primitive fishing setup, but it works every time. As soon as the stick either flips over or starts moving, I know I'm getting action and then I can react. Look at that. My stick's bent over. Yeah. I wasn't even paying attention. 
Okay, I got one. <laughs> uh, it doesn't feel very big, but hey, you know, I haven't done any ice fishing this year. Oh, well, he's a pan fry for sure. There we go. Nice. Success. First ice fishing trip this year. They don't have much for ice fishing in Oklahoma. Little pan fry. Kind of skinny, but he boat. Oh man, yeah. Maybe they're not getting. He's about 14 inches long, but really skinny. Okay, well I'll try for another one. I don't have much bait, but we at least have our catch and cook. Yeah, pretty skinny fish though. Well, I guess that's why they're biting. They're hungry. The neck break. Put them out of their misery instantly instead of let them suffocate on the ice. I don't like that idea. I don't. Okay, well, we'll try one more time. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. All of a sudden, I seen my stick was over and had one on. I just got another little guy, but I think I'll let him go. He's just tiny. He's only about eight inches. He's not hooked that bad. I'll just let him go. I didn't have the camera rolling for that one, but anyway, I'll try for one more. But this fish here, Really strange. Try to get some video of one biting. You can see the stick move, hopefully. Oh, there we got the bite. See? No, I don't care if I miss this one, but there's the bite. Because I got my my one. Might be just a little guy. Put this back on. Watch our stick. This guy's just nibbling, he's not being aggressive. So you see what I mean about this fish? I mean, you know, he's got a big head and then he just tapers down into nothing, very skinny. So I guess this one wasn't eating that good, but hey, I got my fish for my catch and cook and the other guy was too little, so I had a couple of bites. Put my fish up. I got some potato and yam that I cooked yesterday. And then Finn and I had a steak. They were a little undercooked, so I just left them. I'll just heat them up. Should be good, but like I say, it's my first time ice fishing this year. Usually I get out several times, but I wasn't around during most of the ice fishing. That's the only lake that seems safe enough to even go on for ice fishing. But you know what? I would actually prefer trolling around a lake on a nice warm day catching nice fish and being warm and standing on the ice freezing and ice fishing put it this way is not really something that I look forward to I do it this is the only video this year of me ice fishing but we're gonna cook that fish up and uh, it's just a weird looking fish though eh? what do you think I mean leave a comment I mean I think it's starving to death so but whatever, I got some other stuff to go with it. And at least I did go ice fishing once this year. Well, it's looking like I might be eating in the dark again. The charcoal takes a little bit to get going. See how fast a lighter can be too? <laughs> Always advocating lighters, aren't I? But uh, a lot quicker in a bow drill fire. Well, spring is just about here. Uh, there's wild onions out around camp here. I might even throw a little bit of that inside my fish with a little bit of butter, which I have. You know, like these, uh, these little pan fries out of that lake are really tasty, but uh, I sure like it when I go salmon fishing on the island, you know. Boy, I had a great time down there. I always have a good time and that's why I go there so often. I don't want you guys to get bored of me going to the island because, man, it's it's like my second home. You know, when I can go down there, catch crab, have crab dinner, uh, catch salmon. Like, who wouldn't want to be there? You know, it does rain a lot. This last trip, I just got back from there not long ago. And I got some videos done, but 
it rained and rained and rained and then a freak snowstorm so it was kind of unusual for this time of year to run in to snow on the island it is kind of unusual spring is coming we're gonna get out and do some more adventures we'll go get some wild onions yeah so the onions are coming up as you can see something's been eating this one I see but uh, here I'll grab a couple of them throw in my fish Well, you got a stick, I see. What's new? What's new, Finn? You want me to throw it? Where's it gonna go? Over there? No. Over there? Another <laughs> guy. What a strange looking fish. I mean, it, it's kind of like, look at the size of the head and then it's so skinny. Just tapers down. It's just weird. Put some onion in it. Get that on the go. I got my onions peeled, kind of cleaned and peeled. Throw them in. Oh yeah, butter. Yeah, um, this is almost, <laughs> looks like a lingcod, or like a burbot. Big head, no body. Let's try to keep it upright till the butter melts. Not going to use a frying pan. But I am looking forward to this fish, because as much as I like fish, these white meat rainbows out of that little lake, they're just so tasty, so it's not a lot of food really. I've got a can of dog food for Finn, don't worry, he won't go hungry. But he loves yams, we'll share the veggies, he loves potatoes. That dog, where are you Finn? I'm talking about you. Here, come sit over here. That dog eats better than any dog I've ever known. And yet, he, but he's so active, he never gains weight really. But he's only three, he just turned three actually, uh, last month, so. Did you know you're three? My butter's not quite melted, but I want to flip it on its side. Look at that. The head went through. It's so big. It doesn't want to come back out. Got to turn it sideways. Ouch. Oh, oh, oh. Just about lost my onions. Oh, then the head gets stuck again. Oh, good. Get rid of that head. Messing up the whole program, the head of the fish. My dinner. Leftovers and that fish. Here. Oh well. Catch it. Good catch. You'd think I was doing a fireside chop. Smoke's just in my face. But I gotta stay near the fire. I like the uh the lighting from the fires. These night scenes are pretty cool if you have enough light. Mm. That fish is so good. It's too bad they're not bigger. Yam, potato, thanks for watching this video, it's a short little video, I'm going to finish my dinner, feed Finn, and then um, go to bed, simple, but you know, I was thinking that 
you know, some of these short little videos might be good for the younger viewers. Short little videos like this one might be up their alley. Uh, not everybody wants to watch a three hour movie, two hour movie even, but I appreciate y'all. And uh, thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you on the next one. I just had to go make sure I caught a fish for a nice fishing video, which I did. I had to let the other little guy go. I had a couple little bites, nothing major, but you know, at least we did a nice fishing video. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one.